I have this sense that um, living my everyday life is something that I feel um, uh, this connection in a way that is, it's always, you know, it's kind of like the hidden mystery. You know, we can see what is around us, but somehow, and, and even throughout ancient times, people have sensed that there's something a little beyond, that, there, that there's a hiddenness about a reality that's beyond, just beyond what we can see. Sometimes we call it a veil, you know, like the veil has, be, it's beyond the veil. <laughs> For me, what I feel is a, a sense of longing and a yearning to be connected, to know that I'm not alone in the universe despite everyone around me sometimes and I can still feel alone, I f also feel that, that my, uh, my interior, my inner landscape is, is reaching out for a deeper sense of connection. And I, I think I've always felt that there's something uh, beyond, uh, beyond what I can see, beyond my senses. And so I, it, it's like a, a lifting of my heart and my, my desire uh, for that connection, for that relationship. Um, and I find a place where I can rest in, in that sense of knowingness and, and a sense of love and, and care uh, that I can sometimes feel and believe in. Um, and so that kind of reaching out, um, it, it, all, it all comes down to relationship. There are many ways to pray. And I think growing in a deep spirituality is about discovering all the different ways that we can connect deeply with that which we have no words for, right? The great mystery, this ultimate reality that is so hard to describe. So there are many prayers with words that we know and can find, and th that's great. But again, our bodies are a source of awareness that when we pay attention that our very breath can become a prayer. We do not need words to pray. And I think for me that was the thing I began to discover in my life. Um, I don't need words to pray. I can just lift my heart and my breath and uh, with this, this yearning for connection. And that comes through the body, so even something as simple as a gesture can be a prayer. When there is music and, and we, we move and dance and swirl, that can be a prayer. So everything about us can be prayer in a way that connects deeply within us, you know, beyond these words. Um, so that, that words become a part of being able to pray, but yet movement itself, the very breath of life, is a prayer to God, to tap into the authenticness with your own sense of humility, I think is for me, I know there was some point in my life when my prayer life switched to that, where I, I left behind, not behind, but I, I, you know, I put over there <laughs> a lot of things I had learned. And I just asked for help one day. I remember that so clearly. It was just, help! <laughs> help! <laughs> And it was like the floodgates opened. I don't know. Uh, it was wonderful in that I recognized within myself that it was an authentic.
heartfelt plea. I think it's about being authentic, being honest with yourself, and bringing that, um, that sense of uh, not having any pretense, maybe not using anybody else's words, but just your honest and authentic sense of what is happening within you to your um, thought, to your request, to your desire, to your yearning. And when we tap into that, um, you know, it's like you, you just kind of pray all the time. <laughs>